You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. It's brought to you by SueEmpireJobs.com. Need a new job? Well, you can find one there. SueEmpireJobs.com. Dan, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right. Got some, uh, boy, big birthdays. Very exciting news. First and foremost, and I don't know how this escaped our radar, but our good friend, Andrew Andy Brown of CNC oh, yeah. Food Factory fame, had a birthday yesterday. Yeah, I had a birthday request that I got on the radio for him. So. Really? Yeah. Happy so you were privy to, to it and somehow well, I missed that beating? But it was it was after, like it was when the John and Heidi show bonus hour was done. I so. see. Yeah. I see. So I was already tucked in for the night. We, we had already <laughs> booted you out of this room, so... <laughs> Had to be close to 9 a.m. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> happy birthday, Annie. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, happy birthday. Sorry. Sorry. Day I late. Missed. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> day late. John makes me feel like a lesser human being. There <laughs> you go, day late. Day As late. usual, birthdays today include Malcolm Young, who left way too early, passed away in 2017, uh, one of the brothers and rhythm player for ACDC. Yes. Mm-hmm. Played a just beat to heck Gretsch Jet triple pickup, but he tore two of them out of it. Mm. It's one of the nastiest looking guitars ever in the history of rock and roll. Yeah. It's just mean. And he uh, he was pretty amazing. Uh, Howie Long. Football guy. Yes, he was a pretty darn good football <laughs> guy. I from like uh, AT&T commercials <clears throat> or something. He was with, uh, <laughs> defensive standout for the Raiders. The Raiders. And nice. Howie now does, of course, NFL on Fox every Sunday nice. with Terry Bradshaw and the crew. He's uh, 59 today. Nice. Happy birthday to you. And I only bring this guy up because I went to his junior high school in Minneapolis, Carl Sandburg. Oh, yeah. Born this day, of course, famous poet, writer, biographer, blah, blah, blah. And I went to <laughs> Carl Sandburg <laughs> Junior High. Yeah. I had no idea who it was. I just thought it was the guy that built the school. <laughs> no, no, no. Carl, What's the name of the school? What's your name? Carl Sandburg. <laughs> We're going to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> Carl Sandburg Junior High, which he no, was a poet? no longer exists. Yeah. Darn good one. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. He's, what is it like? Roses and red, right? Violets or blue kind of stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Did he write that? Yeah. <laughs> Who did write that? I have no idea. Huh. There's a difference between rhymes and, and poems. Oh, yeah. Not sure why. <laughs> poems don't rhyme, which is why I don't read them. Huh. It was 19, uh, that is totally incorrect. It was 1898. <clears throat> the very first telephone message was sent from a submerged submarine. Really? Huh. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Cool. Like this. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? We just call it good right there. Right. <laughs> this, is good, this is as good a place to just stop as any. Thank you, Day Late I'm Dan. to leave. Yeah. No. <laughs> I know. You know. We all know. We just plow right ahead. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SueEmpireJobs.com. Want to save money? Take the BetterCreditCards.com challenge. It's simple and free, and you could save money every single month. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Slip the well spirits. Bring the Ranger Dan cap to you two little love monkeys. Ramon, you're looking good, Heidi. Dan. Not allowed to go where I want to go with you, so we'll just move <laughs> on. Thank you. We have some pretty amazing news here, little Radio Rangers. This could be one of the biggest days from the world of critters we've seen in a whole long time. Just got a press release. Guess what? After 48 years, 48 years of being on the endangered species list, the gray wolf is now just fine. Plentiful. Good. The wolf is officially off. 
We're endangered species. Oh, that's fantastic. That is very good. And so I did a little digging, and of course I'm a ranger, so I know quite a bit about the old gray wolf, because they are, of course, indigenous to the great state of South Dakota, North yeah. America in general. So we'll share a little information about this now that we'll be able to harvest them. <laughs> harvest is a fancy word yeah. for hunt, kill, and eat. Uh-huh. <laughs> A little bit more about that later on, too, because his old Ranger Dan's been working on a cookbook. I think you'll be interested. <laughs> <laughs> gray wolf jerky. Here's huh? the thing, little Radio Rangers. Gray wolves are actually members of the dog family. Mm-hmm. However, should you adopt a gray wolf, they really, really, really don't seem to get along terrifically well with other household pets. And darn it, don't let them watch the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Gray wolves are also known as the common wolves or also as timber wolves, which is also a National Basketball Association team in Minnesota that doesn't play very well and seldom, if ever, makes the playoffs, (laughs) which is a lot like a lot of Minnesota sports franchises, (laughs) except for the Twins, which have managed to scrape through two World Series wins. Nice. Now then, a wolf driven which has been driven from the wolf pack or has, in fact, left on its own accord, which is also a popular Honda model, is called a lone wolf. A lone wolf, yeah. Yeah. A lone wolf will avoid contact with the packs and also is very quiet and will seldom howl. Huh. If you want to learn more about the lone wolf, there's a classic documentary from 1983 starring... Chuck Norris called Lone Wolf McQuaid. (laughs) Now, Chuck, as Lone Wolf, after losing his partner in a gunfight with a Texas drug gang, is left all by himself to take down a drug kingpin by using only automatic weapons and martial arts. (laughs) And although he does actually speak during the movie, it's really nothing worth hearing. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's available on Amazon Prime Video, Voodoo, YouTube, and Google Play. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have today, a little Radio Rangers. I hope you learned a lot. I know my brain is just about blowing up. That's Rage Dad out. Till next time, say with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for your morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota. Which, by the way, in my grubby little hand here, just picked up a... Dollar gift cards from Kaladi's oh, nice. Bistro from uh, Mark and uh, Kayla and the, and the crew over there. So we can t- tell them how folks can, can start the win, those, yeah. John, because you're in charge of this. I stuff. am in charge. And we're going to start next week, will be the first one that we actually give away. We're going to give it away on Wednesday. Huh? Win- Did he say Wednesday? <laughs> he said win- Wednesday. If you wanna win. Wow. You can register any day, but we're going to give it away you on You know how win. his silly little mind works. Silly little mind? Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be my rem- reminder that I'll remember to actually do it. Otherwise, <laughs> but 20 bucks worth of, worth of, of goodness. That goes quite a ways at you, you know what you that. could do? You could come along. You could like win that thing, and then you could bring me to lunch and feed me some <laughs> chislick, and there'd still be some left over for you to get something to. You need to, to ask yourself, do you really want to go there? <laughs> <laughs> I do. They I have. Do. Amazing food. Yeah, I've been oh, going there. Oh my goodness, for a decade, I've never had a bad experience. Yeah. Oh, you mean when? Do you really want to go there? You mean somebody bring me to lunch? Okay, I see yeah. what you're saying. I now. might have been insinuating that, John. <laughs> How much gets past you? Uh-huh. I'm picking up what you're putting. All right, down. Sioux Falls police are belittling people who have having their vehicles stolen. Let's get into it. That's, that's oh, yeah. the big news. Uh, car thefts are up well across the country, A actually. A bunch yeah. of people. In fact, carjackings in Minneapolis are up over 500% this year, but that's Whoa. basically because half the cops quit. We right. read a story where somebody, Different like one reasons. person carjacked five people within like an hour. 
Well, here's the thing, and here's what's going on. Just over this past weekend, uh, 15 cars stolen in Sioux Falls. Yeah, yes. 13 of them had the keys in it. <laughs> well, okay, here's the thing. You know what? You can say, yeah, it's pretty easy to snag a car when it's running and sit there and you yeah. dash into the store. On the other hand... We just never had to deal with that before. Uh, you know, I look at it this way. There's a thing called the Ten Commandments, and that's yeah. that's one exactly. of them right Number one, thou there. shall not steal. Still, I get it, but to like, you know, but, well, you know, it's your own darn fault. Well, yeah, maybe, but... <laughs> but is it? Yeah, you should be able to trust your fellow man. I'm as sad that we can't anymore. It really is. Okay, so I actually looked up some stats on this. Now, 15 cars getting snagged in a weekend in Sioux Falls, that's, that's kind a of lot. a big deal. That's it a is. big deal. But there's a lot of money in it. Did you know in the United States of America, a car is stolen approximately every 42 seconds? Oh, wow. Holy cow. It comes to about 750,000 cars and trucks a year with a book value of about uh, 6.3% billion dollars here's the top 10 models at number 10 the jeep grand cherokee okay i I happen to rock one of those yeah Hmm. number nine the dodge ram pickup good luck number eight the gmc sierra pickup oh Oh, wow i owned a 2000 gmc sierra and it did get taken did it really oh that was a bank repo though Speaking a of, different situation. Speaking of that, somebody's taking your Jeep right now. I don't know if that's... <laughs> Toyota Corolla at number seven. The Nissan Altima at number six. They're still on the list, the Corolla? Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Sure is. At number five, the uh, Toyota Camry. Wow. The Chevy Silverado pickups at number four. A lot of pickups. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of money. And I mean, a new yeah, pickup these expensive. days, you're looking they're at 40 to 60 grand. Yeah. yeah. Number three, the Ford F Series pickup mm-hmm. line. The Honda Accords at number two, and this almost never changes. Always in the top three are Honda models at number one. Ta da! The Honda Civic. See, and, and Honda Civic. Our vehicles Honda are not Accord, on there, oddly enough. Toyota Camry, Toyota Corolla. So Toyotas and Hondas, four of the top mm-hmm. ten at least. Well, there's a whole uh, bunch of them, and they and they have yeah. a recent resale value. And there's, I mean, there's a reason that huh. those get marked. Right. Yeah, they get snagged. Yeah. Well, be careful mm-hmm. out there, folks. And here's the first thing that I'm going to say: make sure you lock your doors. And because this weekend, the third, and it is tempting to leave your car running this time oh, yeah. of year, but just don't, just don't do it. And in our vehicle, we can push a button into like the auto start thing. So uh, here's what I'm doing when it gets cold now. I'm turning the vehicle off. I'm getting out, and then I'm going to auto start it. It locks the doors, and then even if they would break in, you're not going anywhere because the car turns off right. without a key. Not everyone can afford that fancy stuff, John. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's Heidi's car. Why don't you just have your butler go out and work? <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, man. Give some of us a break, will you? <laughs> I don't have a butler anymore. <laughs> COVID hit us hard. It's been a rough <laughs> oh my goodness. We had to let half the staff go. I personally am down to a staff of three. And if the kitchen staff is listening, we need to talk. <laughs> I may be forced to make my own sandwich. <laughs> Oh, we shouldn't even joke about this stuff. Well, Dan, thank you for that update. That's really cool. It's the best we, I can do, man. <laughs> we do have some good news to get to. That is on the way, and we'll have some entertainment news before you know it. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. This is your morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro. Want to save money? Take the BetterCreditCards.com challenge. It's simple and free, and you could save money every single month. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to bettercreditcards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing and it can help you get a better credit card. Do it today. Bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture and you should stop in and check them out. They've got some really, really nice ones. Uh, And we are going to brighten your day right now with some really, really good news. Uh, This is kind of a neat thing. It's the second annual Frost Gala. And this is from uh, the the folks at the uh, Boys and Girls Club of the Sioux Empire. And I got this email yesterday. It says, we're excited to introduce our second annual Frost Gala. I had reached out to them. We're going to try to schedule an interview to talk with them more about this. But uh, this is something that is kind of a fun event um, and this is a way to, it says, you consider joining us in creating hope from home. So this is even a thing where you can do this virtually. Uh, the Frost Mask 
Arrayed. See? See what they did there? Benefiting the Boys and Girls Club of the Sioux Empire. It's coming up next month, uh, about one month from today. It is uh, February 6th. Today is January 6th. So this is on a Saturday, February the 6th at 7 p.m. Creating Hope from Home Virtual Gala and attending this online virtual Frost Masquerade event is free and it's available to everybody. You can register and have access to silent auction items and raffle items and the ability to donate uh, to support great futures for kids. Now, those who wish to sponsor the event and create a Hope from Home experience have multiple levels of giving to choose from. A Hope from Home host can invite up to eight guests to their home to participate in the virtual event. Hosts will actually receive a gift card for food and beverage and keepsake uh, shark Truce board? Is that how you say that, Heidi? The board that's got the, the meats and the cheeses on it? I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, anyway, it's it's a fancy thing, and we're not fancy enough, apparently. Um, they also get to, uh, to take away some special gifts for their guests as well. Hosts will be prov- provided with a link with detailed information about creating a successful event for this fun evening. There's a couple of different Hope From Home catering options, and I've got a link to all of that information in uh, on our Facebook page, so you can go there and see all the details. And there's also a link to register, so you can click a little button, and you can register register to be a part of this after you complete the registration you'll get some emails one is just a receipt for the the food purchase the that you purchased for the catering part and then the other one will have a link uh, that you would forward to all of your guests as well if you'd like to get some more information i've got the uh a copied and pasted the email that was sent to me word for word all of the details on our facebook page facebook.com slash sunny radio and facebook.com slash sioux falls news again it's coming up one month from today it's saturday February the 6th, so it's uh, instead of January 6th, February 6th, Saturday, February 6th, and it's called the Frost Masquerade, and it is uh, creating hope from home. It's a virtual gala for the Boys and Girls Club of the Sioux Empire. Again, all the details at Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time now for entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. He is liberty. Fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Oh, did you guys get into the uh, Rubik's Cube thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did, did you buy one? Did you own one? I one. did. We own several still today. I have some of them in my office here. One yeah. of the biggest the selling little items of all time. Millions, hundreds of millions of units sold worldwide. They still sell to this day. It became yeah. hugely popular in the 80s, of course. Uh, and, I mean, there's still contests going on. Who's the quickest to figure it out? And they'll actually, who's the quickest to figure it out underwater? I mean, it goes, <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> dead do. serious. The big question well, is. back. Do you like the Rubik's Cube enough to go watch a movie based on it? Really? Because uh, it's coming. No. So, I like, did the, not. it's going to be the movie of the invention of the Rubik's Cube? Uh, apparently, production companies Hyde Park Entertainment and Endeavor Content are uh, hoping you're going to dig it a lot. It's been reporting now uh, they're assembling a cast. And they are going to do the inception of it because a guy named Rubik actually yeah, developed Rubik. the darn thing. Okay. And it was a math tool. It was to so, teach math. Yeah. I'm de- my brain literally does not work that way, no, which I, is why. I, and I'm sure I've picked one up and looked at it and went, yeah, we're not going to get together. My, he had to take off the yeah. stickers. Yeah. And leave them my favorite thing. Oh, I've, I learned how to break them apart and then you can pop them back together. Ah. There was a little boy who, well, he was like 12 years old. He broke one apart. Look to see what made it tick, put it back together, and then wrote a page, like a one-page um, solution guide, and he sold this back in the 80s or maybe it was early 90s, and it was like a couple bucks a page. The guy made like a million bucks doing that, hmm. but he was just a little kid. He popped it open and figured out how to make it work, and then he was promoting, hey, I'll teach you how to do it if you just send me some I money. I can say <laughs> so. that I would not be going to this film. I'll go to it. I'll check it out. You want to go, Dan? Well, again, it depends it. on the approach to it. Yeah. You know, I'm sure Is George gonna... Clooney in it? You know, there's an entire culture still out there that are referred to as speed cubers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Solve the Rubik's Cube as quickly as possible. World, world record was set in 2018, stands to this day. A uh, kid out of China. Two seconds. 
three point four seven seconds. Holy cow! Three point four seven seconds. Isn't that crazy? That's insane. What took him so long? Yeah, but I got to tell you what, there are probably a whole legion tr- still trying to break that record, and somebody yeah. will oh, eventually. Yeah. So, well, I yeah, have we'll see what friends. happens with this. I just thought, what a weird concept for a movie, but there it is. It's, yeah. Well, I think it's cool. I have two friends that know how At to do that. At least it's something unique, and it's not a remake. I mean, that you got to give them that because yeah. it seems like everything else has been coming out has all just been remakes lately. So, okay, interesting point. Yeah. Heidi, excellent. So they're trying something new, and I guess for that reason alone, I should probably you go should. see it. <laughs> Will you come with me? Dan already said he won't. <laughs> well, again, you got to figure if hundreds of millions of Rubik's Cubes have been sold over the years, there's probably enough box office juice with, yeah. with people to make this make sense, I guess. Yeah. I need to see it. Interesting. And I would guess sales of the thing are going to pump up, too, oh, when yeah, this thing again. gets released. Yep. So. Interesting. Yes. Well, there you go. Dan, thank you very much for coming in, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it very much. I literally don't know what else I'd do if I wasn't sitting here. <laughs> I'm sure you'd come up with something. This keeps me off the streets, man. <laughs> it does. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll go work on uh, learning how to do that Rubik's Cube thing. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SueEmpireJobs.com. Want to save money? Take the BetterCreditCards.com challenge. It's simple and free, and you could save money every single month. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if they can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it can help you get a better credit card. Do it today. Today, bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Wednesday, January 6th, 2021. The broad equities markets rebounded on Tuesday but fell short of reclaiming Monday's opening highs. Boeing is the day's leader for the Dow Industrials. Shares of the aircraft manufacturer rose nearly 5% to recover from a recently set low. Economic data helped spur the move. The latest report from the Institute of Supply Management shows manufacturing activity accelerated strongly in December versus an expectation for sluggish growth. The move up in the indices was also supported by good news out of the oil patch. Saudi Arabia says it will cut production of oil in February and March to help bring the world's market back into the equilibrium. The news strengthens an already bullish outlook for oil that centers on economic reopening and rising demand in 2021. The price of Brent North Sea and West Texas Intermediate crude jumped more than 5.5 percent with similar gains in most energy-related stocks. You can get the inside track in your inbox daily at marketbeatminute.com.